Uh, good evening, everybody. My name is Jim O'Connor, and I'm the parent of a fourth grader and second grader at Irving Elementary, as Alan mentioned. Um, I live in Southeast Oak Park and moved to Oak Park for the schools nine years ago, and I'm really glad that we did. Um, just a quick, first I want to tell you just a little bit about myself, and then talk about what I'd like to continue doing as a board member. So first, um, I have spent 15 years in public education. Uh, the, my first four years were in teaching. Um, those first of those two or four years, I taught in rural Arkansas with a program called Teach for America. It was really a life-changing experience for me. Through it, I learned firsthand how kids will rise to the expectations that you set for them. Through my Teach for America experience, I also built a network of activist friends who want education to be the number one priority for our country. More specifically, they want every child to have access to an excellent education. After teaching in, teaching in Arkansas, I went on to teach uh, for two more years on the west side of Chicago. After that, I was the principal for six years of a Chicago public school in the Austin community. And then for the last five years, I've been at Advanced Illinois, which is an education policy organization. Um, and in that capacity, I work with districts around the state and get to see what some of the best districts in the country are doing. And I look to borrow those things um, and, and utilize them here at Oak Park. Uh, there are three things that I'd like to continue doing as a board member. Uh, first, I want to raise the bar and close the gap. Two, bring more transparency to our district. And three, increase fiscal efficiency and collaboration. So first, raise the bar and close the gap. Um, I think that we have brought more rigor and consistency to our middle schools. Um, the IV program was meant to do that. We, knew, we definitely need to continue to invest in staff training um, so that we can uh, become fully accredited IV program. We value education in Oak Park. 73% of Oak Parkers have an associate's degree or higher, um, but only 60% are on track to have a college-ready ACT of 21. That means that 40% are not. Uh, we've got to raise the bar and support all students who are not on track to be college and career ready. In terms of the gap, I want to complete an equity audit early on in the next four, four years. Um, I'd like to look at the achievement, involvement, support, and success of our students. 86% of non-low-income students are proficient in uh, fourth grade reading, while only 51% of low-income students are proficient in fourth grade reading. That's a 35 percentage point gap, and that's larger than the state average and unacceptable in my mind. I want to dedicate more resources to close the gap and bring equity to the district. Um, second, I mentioned that I want to bring more transparency. I've been a champion for um, gathering students, staff, and parent feedback. That's been the five essential survey. Those of you with, with kids in the district um, currently have heard of it um, and probably taken the survey. I'm a big fan of that. Over 2,100 people took the survey, and um, I want to continue to train for that. And then finally, I want to increase fiscal efficiency and collaboration with other governing bodies. There's been a couple examples of that. Um, I'm, I'll, maybe Bob will talk about that. Um, in summary, I have 15 years of public education. Um, I want to raise the bar and close the gap, bring more transparency to the district, and increase our fiscal efficiency and collaboration with other governing bodies. Thanks.